All right, all right. What's up, everybody? Holy. How's everybody doing? What's up, y'all? How's it going out there, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. Nolan, Jan is here. Levi's here. Hey, everybody. Tactical is here. Henry, how are you, sir? Sheesh, been a while, my man. Hog. You still hooking hogs? You still hooking hogs? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Dominic. Hey, Christy. Hey, Cody. Hey, Bailey. Hey, Ryder. Let's just jump right into it, man. Look at this. We got a rainy day on Quattro. What the heck, man? Hey, everybody. Hunter's Gaming. How you doing? Hey, Flip. Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. <laughs> 754. All right, let's. We're gonna start up here. Get the subs on the screen. 26.1, man. We did it. We did. We done did it. We done done did it. Okay, so. Change the time, swine it back a little bit. Something like that. Yo, Henry, how are you, man? It has been a while. How's it, how are things? How you doing, man? Hunter's Gaming, how's it going? Thank you, Levi. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Thanks, Buck. I hope so too. We had we had really good luck yesterday. We've spawned three nines in the last couple days. Two trolls. And we got a diamond yesterday, too. So we're spawning the nines. The nines are spawning. The nines are spawning. So what does it mean? 
If anything, what is it? Does it mean anything? What does it mean? So many mythicals. What does it mean? My favorite map's Yukon. Uh, hey, Jan, how are you doing, man? Hey, David. How many more kills do you think? I have no idea, man. Hopefully, I was hoping to do it with. I was hoping to, to try to see if we could get three great ones in the first 2,000 kills. But we're getting really close to 2,000. But we'll see. If we could, I mean, even if we could get, I mean, even three great ones and 3,000 kills would be good. But we got the first two great ones before 1,000 kills. So we're about, we're about 1,000 kills now since the last great one. About 1,000. These guys are going to take their time. Yeah, green hell. So we're going to jump into green hell today too. We're going to jump into just the survival mode in green hell and see how we can do. See if we can survive. My favorite rare for Red Deer? Uh, definitely the Melanistic. He's using KC's method. <laughs> Scarecrow's method? Isn't that just shoot everything? <laughs> oh, Crow. That's been his method for a long time, hasn't it? Isn't that what he always did with Whitetail too? Just shoot everything? I am using the KC method, if you can call it a method. <laughs> I don't know if it warrants... I don't know if it warrants being called a method, but... I'm doing what I usually do. Spotted Sika? I think red spotted are rare, but not spotted. Or dark spotted. How long am I playing Caldwell for? Uh, we'll see. We're going to play it by ear. At least like an hour and a half. Jonathan, what's Scarecrow's method? Do you mean just shoot everything? My man? Hey, Jordan, how you doing, buddy? Got one, number got one number three is here today. I hope so, Queen. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Today would be nice. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that at all. That would be just fine with me. Got a zone over there. That zone's gone now. Oh, interesting. I've got this zone on this side now. Huh. We have new developments at this lake. Just got this zone right here. But I've still got that zone, and we had a stag there yesterday. Oh, we've actually got two zones there now. Okay, that's different. But I've got a zone right there. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see you. I see you. You're over at that zone. Okay. Shot six mythical red deer today. They respond to level five pioneer. That's cool. Heck yeah. Crow's currently using a method where he shoots small boys until everything seven plus, then wipes all the big boys. Um, does that do anything? <laughs> what does that do? I just don't really... I don't know. You guys know me, man. I don't think any of that stuff does anything. It's cool to try different things. People are free to do what they want, but me personally, I don't really think any of that makes any difference. You're just trying to spawn a great one, man. It can happen anytime. Just rare spawn. Um, like, maybe if maybe if you're trying to consistently like spawn like diamonds and stuff, or you're trying to... You know what I mean? That's fine. Cool. Uh, for me, it's it's all about the great one for me. Everything along the way is what it is. But for me, it's just about spawning that great one. We got some stags. We sure do. We got a few of them. That looks like just a solo hind over there. Had, uh, I lost two zones today on Tio Roa, and there's no hunting pressure. Hmm. Maybe was there only a single deer there, and you shot it? Wait, what the heck?
Okay, so that zone came back. Stop. Gotcha. Hey, Daryl. How's it going, man? Good to see ya. It's been good, Thunder. How are you, man? Do we have a three Red Deer male multi-mount? Not yet. Hopefully we get one soon, though. Fill it up with three great ones. Another six. Got hunting pressure, though. Where'd this come from? Okay, he just came waltzing in, didn't he? And another male. Wow. We've got lots of males here now. I like it. But can I shoot them with that hunting pressure? I think I'm okay. Let's see. I'm going to shoot the six. Oh yeah, we're good there. Uh-oh. Don't know if that's gonna be enough. Uh, Schmieg OG, how's it going? Welcome. Been trolled twice and got a gold albino and piebald so far. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Look at this rack. Kind of different. Kind of a little different. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. It's all good. Do I have an albino road here? I do. I got, a I got a few of them. They're very cool. Hey, Shannon. Welcome. Hey, Black. Hey, guys. Never seen you kill a great one in person yet. Oh, well, I hope you get to be here for the next one, man. That'd be fun. It's a, it's a good time when it happens. Can you do a turkey hunting video? Uh, yeah, I will be eventually. I might even do a turkey hunting video for KC Planet. We'll see. Might be a thing. Hey, Lunar. What's up, man? Hi, everybody. Like, the thing about, okay, the thing about these methods, and this is just me, this is just my opinion. These methods that everyone comes up with, and then, you know, you, so you start doing a method, and then let's say you spawn a nine. How do you know if you can attribute that to your method, or if you just spawned a nine? <laughs> or if, you know, the game just spawned a nine, because you're spawning tons of respawns. How do you ever know if, how do you ever know if it has anything to do with the method that you're, you know, method that you came up with? I don't know, man. I just find that so weird. Like, you know, we spawned three nines in the past two days. There's probably, been th I think those three nines were all in the last hundred kills. I'm not doing any method, but if I was, I could easily say that it was because of that method. <laughs> but it wouldn't have been. And we know that because I'm not using a method. I'm just doing my grind the way that I do my grind. And I wouldn't call it a method. It's just literally shooting. Uh, all the males that I can without wiping zones and then shooting females once in a while if there's too many of them You know what I mean? CJO, what's up, dude? You're still awake? All right, CJO, sounds good, man. Sounds good. Appreciate you, buddy. Have a good night. Thanks for popping in What's better polymer tip or soft point? Uh, it depends on the gun. It depends on the application. Like soft point can be can be better from close range, right? But if you're shooting at any kind of a distance, you want those polymers, man. I think. Hey, mustard, what's up? Uh, for a while there, people were saying that the soft points were better for the Hornet, for example. I haven't tried them. 
How you doing, Lester? It's good to see you, man. But yeah, it just depends. Adrian, how's it going? Hey, Fakest. Welcome. Hey, Sarah. No trophies yet. Your method spawned 49s in eight runs. What's your method, Lunar? <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Like, you could, you could try doing any method. You're still just getting respawns. How do you know if it has anything to do with your with the way that you're doing it or if you're just getting respawns and they're random. You guys know what I mean? Is it just me? Hey, Jacob. I'm pretty sure the game just respawns animals randomly based on their rate of spawn. I don't think there's some like smart algorithm behind everything. I, I just don't think that's a thing. There is such a thing as herd management. There is definitely there are things that pertain to, to, to the way that herd management works, and that is a thing. Um, but as far as, like, manipulating your respawns, I just don't know if you can do that based on some kind of special method. I just don't know about that. I don't know. But it's cool. It's worth a try if people want to try doing that stuff. It's all good. But for me, I just like to get, let the game do what it does and it seems to work fine for me you got a diamond lion adrian nice congrats hey ben hey rob when i did my grind after the first reset just shot all bucks three through nine and got tons of diamonds and some rares for red deer right yeah Found uh, level three whitetail 269 to 312. Wow. <laughs> that thing is huge. What an estimate. Those are all female. So, in this case, just to shake up that zone a little bit, there's no reason why you wouldn't shoot a couple of those. And it couldn't hurt. So, that's what we do. The method system, I think, is kind of just taking the credit for someone else's success or your own. I mean, anyone, like I said, like whether or not people are are doing that, you definitely could. You could, you could definitely, you know, get some clicks and and views on videos saying that you've come up with some kind of a method, and that that's why, you know, that's attributing to why you're getting diamonds and, and rares and stuff. But I've never used the method, and I've gotten tons of diamonds and tons of rares, and I've gotten a few great ones. So, but yeah, you can definitely do that. And then you can take credit for what the game is doing randomly, right? Oh, we spawned another nine. It must be the method. <laughs> I did that. You did do that, but the game respawned it. But anyway, I digress. I digress. All these methods are the same. Shoot animals for response. Pretty much. Hey, uh, Thunder, the family? How do you know I have a family, my friend? <laughs> it's just me and the hamsters. Just kidding. Uh, the, the family's good, Thunder. Thanks for asking. Kill Clinton is the best. Hi, man. How are you? Finally get to catch a stream. I've missed you the last two times. Uh, welcome back, KG. Good to see ya. Hey, Swarm. Not yet, man. Just getting started. What's the difference if you shoot the higher level or if you shoot the smaller levels? Beats me, man. Um, I mean, there, te there technically there is a difference a little bit as far as herd management is concerned, but but if you're basing your method on that, you would only be shooting the big ones because big. You know, if I shoot a big, if I've got a zone with a small stag and a big sta big stag, if I shoot that big one, if I only shoot one of them, there is a better chance that if I shoot that big one, I'll get another big one than if I shoot the small one. If I shoot that small one, the chances are I'm probably like almost for sure going to get a small one. But that's only if you're shooting one, one animal. If you're shooting stags in succession quickly, you're essentially you're opening up room in your population 
based on whatever it is you're shooting for the population to let's I don't know how much detail I can go into this there's stuff that I've learned <laughs> as an official content creator and I don't know I don't, I don't really go into it I don't know a whole lot but there are people that, that really know a lot about how the uh, how herd management works and how the respawns work and stuff I don't know a ton but there's like basically there's a pool right at any given time your map can respawn a certain amount of animals with a certain number of scores like it's hard for me to it's hard to explain <laughs> it's hard to explain but essentially if you're only shooting one animal uh, you're bound to get a similar animal back as far as score wise but we're not only shooting one animal we're shooting like three or four at a time a lot of the time so the game's constantly respawning stuff as soon as you pick up an animal it respawns a couple seconds later far away from its zone and then it's got to walk all the way to its zone that's how respawns work as soon as you pick up an animal a couple seconds later the map repops another animal but it respawns usually far away at a spawn point and then it's got to walk all the way back to its zone right and it can take a really long time to do that that's why we do time resets There's a stag. Nice. So, let's pick that guy up. And let's remember what his score was. Because we only shot one there. And then we'll see if, if that guy responds for the next run. We'll see what we got back there. And I bet you it'll be a very similar scoring stag. Do you need all of your zones to get respawns? Of course not, sir. Of course not. Uh, no, Thunder. Nope, not at all. You think it's dumb how you can use the 470 Nitro? Excuse me, a new nitro on grizzly, but you can use it on other bears because grizzly not class nine. Um, hmm. Oh, I see what you're asking me. Um, I don't know. I don't think bears should be class nine, to be honest. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe grizzlies. You gotta keep in mind that a grizzly is quite a bit bigger than a black bear, right? And all, it has everything to do with size. You're alarmed. Hang on. Oof, wobbling, wobbling. And accuracy, accuracy issues with the 243. Uh, I haven't been using the 243 a whole lot, Jan. Because I've been grinding like lions and red deer and stuff. I haven't noticed anything though. So this guy scores a 171. 171.7. Shot road here at 300 meters, zero at 300, and it shot below. Same thing at 150. Hmm, interesting, man. I'll keep that in mind if I if I use it anytime soon. But I haven't noticed anything yet. Hey, Smoke, who's currently winning the Stanley Cup? Uh, there's still... There's still, what, eight teams left? Yeah, so no, nobody yet. There's only We've only gone through the first round of the playoffs. Okay, I got a zone right on the corner here. Bears bigger than lion, lion is class nine. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the lions are class nine a little bit, I think. Finally got an albino fallow box. Now I can do all rare fallow huddle. Nice flip. 
got the Mela before the Albino. That's crazy. Another... How is that another zone? What? That's a lot of Red Deer zones. Why can't I see what that one is? Yeah, these are all Red Deer. <laughs> Four of them. This little lake. Think Moose will be the new great one? Yes, I do, Wizard. Yep. Hey, Abby. How's it going? <laughs> Me and CJ are currently watching you in bed with a brew on my phone with Family Guy on the TV. Hey, there it goes. Cheers to you both. Sounds pretty perfect, man. That's awesome. I think lions are class nine because they are apex predators. Yeah. And I think they wanted to make it so that you could use the 470 on Lions, too. What would I shoot to go with? I'm thinking the longbow, man. What do you guys think? Any requests? I've been carrying the longbow with me. I've got it ready to go. We've been using the longbow a lot. I just feel like it would make sense to use it right now. At this juncture... <laughs> Little tear. Little tear runs down his face. <laughs> Casey just shed a tear? Is Casey crying? <laughs> okay? Casey, okay? Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, Lunar. My first Red Deer trophy was a Mela level 4, my only Mela. Looks like uh, a Roe Deer. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I do like it. Yes, I do. Uh, 10 gauge buckshot. That would be crazy. We could, we could use a shotgun. I don't know if I'm feeling that spicy with a great one, but... What about the 243? <laughs> Can we shoot a, two, a red deer with 243? We could. We could totally do it. Just get up real close. Real close, like. Hang on, I might be... I really want to shoot that, but I've got zones all over the place at this lake. Uh, nothing yet, Carter. Welcome in. Use 243 soft points. Oh, gosh. Uh, maybe on maybe on a white tail I would do that. Not a red deer, though. Hey, Walter. What's up, man? Go with longbow? I think the longbow would be pretty epic. epic. We, and we've had a lot of practice leading up to... Leading up to... Uh, leading up to now, we've just been using the longbow a lot. I feel pretty confident with it. Uh, our new duck's going to have a collar. I don't know if they're coming out with any new collars. I haven't heard anything. Hopefully. Use 243 soft points from 300. <laughs> That's like a guaranteed messed up great one. Why would I do that? Why, why would he do that? Why would he do that? Oh, look at this. We've got... Oh, okay. Hang on. You know what we could do here? Speaking of longbow... We've got red deer all over the place here. We could real sneakily, like, try to take that guy down with the longbow. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. See, they're onto me already. Did I get him from 60? No, I didn't get a vital. Oh, I did, though. I think I might have. Wait. Yeah, I think he just went down. No, he didn't go down. Did that spook? No, okay, we're good. Now, I don't know if I can shoot more than two there, though. That's gonna spook him. Gotta be careful with the hunting pressure. I think I can shoot one more. Studying for finals. Um, finals for what, Walt?
Are you gonna be live tomorrow? I think so. I don't see why I wouldn't. For school. Wally, are you... <laughs> Wally, are you the Wally that I think you are? Or have, this whole time have I been thinking you're somebody you're not? Do we know each other in real life? Got a mellow white tail buck today, Cash. Hey, Grayson, what's up, man? I'm good. Oh, geez. Wally. This whole time, I thought you were my buddy Wally. Didn't you think it was weird that I was calling you Walt? <laughs> I have a friend who comes in here sometimes named Wally. He's got the exact same name as you, a profile picture. I've been thinking you were him for the last few days. Is that hilarious or what? You didn't think it was weird when I was like, oh, when did you stop start playing Call of the Wild? Well, I didn't know you played Call of the Wild. <laughs> you didn't think that was weird? Hey, Christian, what's up, man? Having spaghetti thunder, nice. I just want to see where I hit that red deer with the longbow. Can you use the 243 with the red raptor sight? That'd be pretty wild. I think this was the bow, the bow guy. Okay, first great one, red deer on Quattro Clark. Nice, congrats, man. Found level two stag named it KC. Cash. Oh, we were a little bit far. Oh, there was wind. Yeah, see, from 60. Hi. Oh, I didn't mean to... Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, there was wind. Um. Wait, I wanted to see what those were. Where'd they go? Females? Rondas, Rondas. Crossbow with iron sights, that'd be cool. I would even, I would go, I would use compound with, uh, with a single pen. I, I would totally do that. Hey, Destiny, welcome. Okay, so you have a baseball game at 8 in US and play the next level 12 U. Uh, Grayson, good luck to you, man. Good luck to you. Hey, Zach, nothing yet, man. Working on it. Here's another deer that went down. Do I have anything in that far zone? Hey, Cash. Just got a troll melanine legendary rob. Did ya? Please watch the caps. Please. Did you get a picture of it, man? Love to see that nine legendary melanistic. I'm sorry it trolled ya. Oh, I do have a stag over there. Nice. My method must be working. The KC method is working. You'd love to see it. Use the crosshairs with compound and within 20. It's still accurate. I gotcha. Okay. Just got Yukon, which you hunt first to Owen. Uh, I'd go out and hunt some caribou first. And uh, I would definitely check out my Yukon quick guide. You can get the hotspots for every every species from that video. Yukon Valley quick guide. In my uh, Call of the Wild quick guides playlist. Or you can just go into my Call of the Wild guides playlist. They're in there too. Use the KC method for the Whitetail Nice Cash. Heck yeah. <laughs> I didn't see what it was, Jenna. We'll join the Discord tomorrow with your PC on. Okay, cool. Hey, Owen. Uh, okay, awesome, Owen. Enjoy, man. I think you will love it. 
Yukon is a, a great map. It's great fun. It's great fun. And you can get that 300 now, too. Such a good time. Hmm. What's the KC method? Hey, man, watch and, watch and, watch and learn. It's the method of, of shooting things to get respawns from things. Shoot things and get things to respawn. It's the KC method. Going to find other Wally. Okay, man. Hey, W Collab, how's it going? W Caleb, probably. But it's spelled Collab, sort of. Actually, it's not spelled Collab. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, it's been so long since I played Call of the Wild. I like Yukon for the missions. Great story. Uh, Geek Moto, welcome to the stream. Heck yeah, man. Red deer, red deer, all the red deer. SC Outdoors, welcome to the stream. Hey, Mike, what's up, dude? How are you, sir? Good to see you. Hey, same to you, Jonathan. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Welcome on in, everybody. How's everybody going? You guys ready for a great one? You guys want a great one? You guys want to see me take a great one down with longbow? I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. It's a nine legendary. What? What? Oh my gosh, Aaron! Thank you for the sub, Aaron. That's amazing. Thanks for doing that. Yukon makes you cry every time. That's amazing. Tears of joy. Only have four days left of school, Sarah. That's exciting. That's right. It's almost summertime. Holy. Holy. Favorite animal of the new map? I don't know. I haven't played it yet. But I'm excited for raccoon dogs. Really excited for all those bird, new bird species. And uh, excited to hunt lynx and brown bear on a new map. And excited for whatever the great one's going to be. Hopefully it's a moose. Couple stags. Hey, Caleb. I'm good, man. No trophies yet. Can't you shoot grouse on the ground? I believe TK said that you'll be able to shoot all of those species on the ground. That's, that's what I heard. There's another stag. Okay, so. I am going to alert them. Attentive, alert. Okay, I need you to go alert specifically. Tell your, tell your buddy. Be like, hey man, what, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Hmm, now they're just moving calm. There we go. But now I need, yeah, good, good. Whoa. Did I even, okay. I hit him. That's gonna spook those guys probably. Uh. Wait, where were they? Oh, they're good. Hey, what is that? That's a seven? That's a big seven. Jeez. Wait, was there another stag over there then? Did I? Yeah, there was one there too. And he didn't even spook. Hey, man. Are you hard of hearing? Turn around. You don't hear all these gunshots? Cool. Love to see it. If the new great one is a moose, what map will you grind on? Well, hopefully the new one. Hopefully the new one is really good for moose, and I think it will be. So yeah, that's the goal. Hopefully we'll be grinding for a great one moose in Finland. Oh, there's another stag. I gotta be careful with the hunting pressure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him live. KC method. Gotta follow that KC method as closely as we can. The new great one is a moose. I already read it. KC, what is your dream hunt? Sarah, in real life, probably New Zealand red deer. Or moose in Alaska.
Hey, Dynamic, welcome. Story brings up some scary memories from IRL. I got you, Geekamoto, I got you. Applied for treasurer at high school, Jan. That's cool, man. Good luck, good luck to you with that. Shot a troll wildebeest last week and it scored 37.2, Grayson, so close. Should you start and finish Yukon story missions or Silver Ridge Peaks? Uh, I've heard the story, the missions are really good on Yukon. I've heard they're good on Silver Ridge Peaks too, but I would, I would do Yukon, man. I've heard really good things. I haven't, I haven't finished them, but do the Yukon missions. Seven, six, seven. Yeah, this lake has gotten better. We're getting more stags here. It's gotten better. Wow. That was clutch. Perfect next shot. Oh, and he went down too. Kind of wish I had a tent down there. So I could pick those up. But I'm out of tents. And I don't feel like running. Soon we're going to have to pick them up. They're changing that back. I'm excited for that. Hey, Thunder. Welcome back, man. You haven't missed anything. Uh, the geese is my favorite part of the new map. Yeah, the geese, are, the geese are gonna be cool, man. I'm excited for that. Three species of geese flying around. Got a diamond goose this morning, and it was a brown hybrid. Even though they're not rare, they're still really cool. Yeah, for sure, dynamic. That's cool, man. That's okay, Grayson. Okay, let's see. We got a whole bunch of zones here at this lake. Hey, Constantine, no trophies yet, man. Ah, uh, it's been good, Charles. Thanks for asking. I hope you're having a good day. Just found one trivial secret here. Oh, that's cool. Make sure to check zones you killed every now and then. Because they might come back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that, that is a thing. They do pop back. Once in a while. Ooh. That's a nine. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. So that is a 9. 214 to 260. I believe that should make diamond. I really, really hope it does because we've already had a couple trolls in the last couple days. So that's the fourth 9 that we have spawned in probably like 150, maybe 200 kills with the KC method, man. What did I tell you guys? You know what I mean? It's a crazy method. It's a crazy method for spawning nines. Such a crazy method for spawning nines. You guys see that? That's insane. The KC method works, Dominic. It works. <laughs> it's all about the method. It's all about the method. Gotta use the method, otherwise you're not gonna spawn the nines. You're just not gonna spawn them. There's a six over there. Okay, this guy... I mean, we could take him down with the longbow, honestly. <laughs> we might as well. We might as well. And hopefully he'll be a diamond. Got a good wind. Let's see, do I have cover? Sort of. I got cover back here. I could use one of these bushes and call him in. Or I could just sneak up on him. What do you guys think? Call him, call him in or sneak up on him? Call him in or sneak up on him? He looks small to you. 
Yeah, he does look a little small, but I think it could go either way. I think I want to call him in, but I need a cover. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is that a diamond? Hey gamer squad, welcome. Welcome everybody. I think it might be a diamond. I think that I think that guy might do it. Got him at 122. If I could just find a friggin' bush out here. Could get some cover to call him in. Now I've lost sight of him. Right over there. Right over in there. How is there not a single bush here? There's a decent bush up there. Where the heck is he? He's like right there. Yeah, there he is. There's a bush. Okay, I'm gonna call him up here. Look, this bush is big enough. It's not. It's definitely not. No, that's not gonna. That's not gonna work. Got a tree right here. What's the KC method? You gotta, you gotta watch, man. Just watch how I do it. You shoot stuff and you get things to respawn. It's it's a crazy method. It's very in depth, but it works. This is our fourth nine in like less than 200 kills. It's, it's it all comes down to the method. Got to use the method. I I owe it all to the method. You know, if I wasn't doing it a certain way, things would not be respawning as nines. I'm just I'm just being silly by the way guys. <laughs> Our method is the same as always. We shoot the stags, sometimes we shoot the females. We let the game respawn things. Okay, we got a bush. Let's see if we can call them up here. Starting to get a bad wind here a little bit. It's over that way still. Kind of not in the best spot here. He's gonna come up though. There's his buddy. Alright, we gotta use gotta use our ears a little bit here. location here. Uh-oh. Apparently he can see me. Get in the bush, get in the bush. Oh, he spooked. He could see me, I guess. <laughs> I hear the nine. The 
nine's still out here. Yeah, that's that's probably him right there. It's right here. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Just barely could see you there. Hopefully you're diamonds. What? Oh, that that confused me. I thought that was him. Okay, oh, yeah, he's down. We got him. All the rest of these guys are gonna take off. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a good shot on this guy. And that guy. Do a little turn, buddy. Give me a little turn. What do we got here? Is that a diamond? Mm, I hope so. I hope so. He is a diamond. 254.7. So that guy scores roughly exactly the same as that big rat guy from yesterday, which is really weird. <laughs> He's a 254. He's a diamond. Got the lung. Ooh, just a little high there. I can just barely see him. It was a pretty sketchy shot to take, to be honest. He was only 14 out. Ooh, that's what that was. Zero for 20. Yikes, that was close. But we got him. It's another diamond. With the longbow. So two diamonds, two trolls in probably about 200 kills here. We're heating up. The method's working and the temperature is rising. Am I using Scarecrow's strategy? Nah, man, I'm using my strategy. <laughs> and it's working just fine, baby. Four nines. Less than 200 kills. Using the KC method. Okay, gamer. We'll see you later, man. What's considered... Uh, oh, have a good day at baseball as well, gamer. Good luck to you, man. What's considered a max weight for a diamond red deer? Um, what is it? 240? 240 kilos. Gotta use the method. There's another one. Hey, Hollow, what's up? Welcome. Hey, Bob White, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, Charles. Hey, Rob. The Mela 9 scored 238, the legendary Melanistic 9 legendary. Uh, Rob would love to see a picture, man. If you could post a picture in the Discord, I'd love to see a 9 legendary Melanistic. That's crazy. I'm sorry I trolled you. Do you have any buddies over there? Mm, no, I don't think so. Need a KC method breakdown video. <laughs> I'll just break it down it's for a right legendary. Now, man. What? Ace on 246 FPS. How's it going, Ace? Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Also, Mythical Phoenix, thank you for the follow on Twitch. The KC method is just shoot the stags. And if you got a lot of hinds, a lot of hinds at zones without a lot of stags, shoot some of the hinds to just get things mixed up. Shake things up a little bit at those zones. But that's it, man. You let the game do what it does best, and that is to respawn animals. 
Sometimes they spawn as cool things and rare things. That's all there is to it, man. KC method. <laughs> it's the call of the wild method. But, uh, you know, I gotta give all the credit. I gotta give all the credit to my method, though. I give all the credit for all these nines that were spawning. And also, we spawned a melanistic, too, recently. It's all because of the method. I have to give all the credit for the, for all that cool stuff to the method. Hey, Cody, what's up, man? You didn't miss anything. Well, we just got a diamond. I'm not sure if you saw that. But welcome to the stream, man. Hey, Samuel. Hey, Jordan. When am I going to play the other game? Um, We'll probably finish... I think we'll finish checking, because I'm going to do a time reset. We'll finish checking all the, the rest of the zones. And then we'll probably switch after that. There's stag. Wait, should I shoot that? Hang on. Awfully close to another zone. I hate that. Okay, I think the strat for these two zones is to move in. I think that's what I've been doing. Move in and see what's over here too first, and then shoot across. B22, what's up, man? Welcome. Do you think the next great one is close? Uh, there's never any way of knowing if the next great one is close. That's like me guessing when the next melanistic will appear. Um, but I hope so. How many kills do I have now? Not that it really matters, but I've, we're, pro we're getting close to 2,000. Uh, about almost 1,100 now since the last great one. But yeah, he could uh, show up at any time. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get one to, to pop soon. That'd be cool. That would be very cool. I would love to get another great one before Finland comes out and the, and the big update. Uh-oh. Oopsie daisy! Missed the neck. Missed the brain and the neck. Slapped ya. Smashed ya. Did I miss that one? Should do it. Should do it. What do you think of the Northern Lights in the new map? I think it's awesome. I think that's such a nice touch. I love it. I absolutely love it. Any dimes I've missed? If so, what? Uh, we got a diamond red deer so far with the longbow. 254. Uh, Taylor, how's it going, Taylor? I've not been in the stream for a hot minute. Uh, how's it doing? Just been taking a break from Hunter. Hope all is going well. Well, welcome back, Taylor. It's good to see you. Uh, things are good. Things are good. I hope you're doing well. Another seven. Ah, uh, this is the 308 AR. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Are you guys subscribed? Is everybody in the chat subscribed? You got to subscribe. We're on the road to 30,000 subscribers. If you want to see the channel grow, if you want me to keep doing this every day and uploading content every day and all the cool stuff that we do, all we got to do is grow the channel. So all you got to do is hit that sub button if you haven't already. Also, hit the like button. The like button helps a lot. Commenting down below uh, in the videos, just watching the videos when I'm not streaming is so good for like activating the algorithm, getting into the, the recommended feeds. So I appreciate it, man. All the likes in the comments. You guys rock. Thank you so much for doing that. And yeah, I'm ready for 30k, man. Let's wind this back. Actually, eh, they won't be over there. Let's just wind it back. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late to turn back now. I believe, I believe, I believe. Hey, Ty. We got a diamond so far. Hey, Felix, what's up, man? Got a max weight, max score lion the other day. Wizard, amazing. Congrats. Really hope the next new it's great a nine legendary. is a moose. Oh, thank you so much, what? Andrew. Andrew coming in with the sub. Thank you for that, Andrew. Really hope the next new great one is a moose. Uh, but the language they used on talking about what could be the new one was weird. It, yeah, it was weird, Nat. 
I agree. Yeah, it sounded almost sounded like it could be in the air. It'll be interesting to see what, what they do. Uh, Nordic, what's up, man? What kind of band slash group are, am I listening to? I'm not listening. Oh, do you mean the music that's playing in the stream? Or are you just asking what kind of music I listen to? Hey, thanks, Chris. Appreciate that. Hey, Turkey. It's a nine legendary! What? Hey, Chris, coming in with the sub. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Busy. What's up, Busy? Welcome. Oh, well, thank you, Taylor. Thank you so much. Uh, so this is all music that I've gotten from Epidemic Sound, where I get my music from. Copyright-free music. Hey, Flat. What's up, man? Good to see ya. Getting ready to try out a new recipe, Busy. Tell me more. What is it? What are you cooking? I hope it's on Revontuli, but it sounds like maybe it'll be on a different map since Revontuli already has the white tail. No, I think... I thought they... Yeah, I mean, they they said that there's a new great one coming. I don't know if they specifically said it's going to be on Revontuli, but I'm definitely expecting it to be on the new map. But I guess there is a chance that it wouldn't be. Hmm. Yeah. It's an interesting thought. But I just feel like it would make so much sense, like I said in that in that video. It's just such a good way to do it, to just introduce the maps with the great one already on them, you know? And then you don't have to go back. I just feel like that's gotta be what they're doing. That was a big part of why I predicted that there would be a great one simultaneously released with the new map, because I'm like, that would just make so much sense to do it that way. So if it's not on the new map, that would, I feel like that'd be so strange. Why release simultaneously if it's not even on the same map, you know what I mean? They could just stagger that and make it easier for themselves rather than doing it all at once, right? That's how I feel. Am I a musician? Uh, I was. <laughs> I guess I could still call myself a musician. It's a nine legendary! I started playing music when what? I was really, really young. I, I played in bands and stuff growing up. Uh, Sockham34, thank you, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Welcome. Um, oh, I've only got one zone here. What am I talking about? Right over here. I'm gonna wait for them to come in. Oh, oh, I thought that was a red deer. Let's mark it. Imagine if Mountain Caribou were on Ramatuli on the rocky terrain. That'd be so nice, Chris. That'd be amazing. I was really hoping for for reindeer. Um, busy. You're making sirloin steaks cut into strips. Making some street tacos with it. The other ones, I'll be making homemade mashed potatoes. Green beans on the side. That sounds amazing. That sounds very good. How do I send an image of the stag in Discord? Just got Discord and joined yours. I have a Call of the Wild Trophy Picks channel where people uh, upload pictures of trophies if you want to share it there. Hey, Lunar. How's it going? And thanks for joining the Discord, man. I appreciate it. Will there be a video on the second channel this month or next month? I'm really hoping to get another uh, video up on the second channel this month for sure. Uh, there's just so much going on with Call of the Wild right now. It's taking up all my time for sure 100 percent oh what's this what was that a wolf oh we got a bunch of wolves kind of like spread out there Hey Dragon, what's up man? Is the Red Fox hard to get a diamond? Yes, very hard. Red Foxes are tough. Just joined watching in a Cracker Barrel. Okay, hey Riley, welcome. 
What does that mean? You're in a cracker barrel? Like the cheese? Or like an actual cracker barrel? <laughs> um, at the moment, no, Nordic, but I will be in the future, and I hope to make some content with it too. It's a goal of mine. Right now, I do this every day. Oh, it's a restaurant. Oh, I don't think we have those here. Uh, this map is Quattro Colinas, Sockham. It's a restaurant, a southern restaurant. Oh, it sounds good. Now, here we have, uh, that's a cheese brand, cracker, cracker Barrel Cheese. Other than that, I don't think it's anything here. Okay, these guys don't want to show up. Let's go down here. Hey, Dark Mind, welcome in. I uh, couldn't find what you were talking about, but I sent it to the general page. Ooh, yikes. That'll get delete that will get deleted. Uh, it's really easy to find, man. It's just on the list on the left side, called Wild Trophy Picks. Let me just take a look here real quick. It's sideways. Melanistic, nine legendary, gosh. Oh, and it's the it's the troll rack. That's wild. Still cool. Still really cool. It's a huge Mela. You're newer to Call of the Wild, KG? That's cool. I hope you're enjoying it. Hasdog, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Welcome, buddy. How long have I played this game? I started playing in 2017. Uh, I played it off and on, just casually, until early 2020. And then I started making content in May of 2020. I see a bunch of females. I don't see a stag, though. Kind of weird. I used to have so many stags along this river. wonder where they've gone to. KC method. KC method. wonder where they've gone to in lieu of the KC method. Hmm. Very interesting stuff. Bang. Bang. Drop two of those. Wondering if maybe there's still stags coming in. Because I've got another zone right there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Going to Golden Corral for my birthday. Never been there either. What do I want to hunt IRL? Well, we've got quite a bit of good hunting here, like north. Quite a, quite a bit north of me, though. We definitely require a vacation. I'm in a big city. But, um... We've got friggin' we got mule deer here, we've got blacktail, we've got... We've even got fallow. Uh, in one spot. Then we've got moose, we've got elk. Um, and we've got grouse and quail. Things like that. Pronghorn hunt in the south, that'd be cool. Uh, there's a lot of hunts that I want to do, man, eventually. I eventually want to go to New Zealand and Alaska. I would love to go somewhere in Scandinavia, like uh, Sweden or Finland or Norway or something. Hopefully in the next few years I can do that. Got an albino brown bear the other day. He's having crazy. Very nice. Where I live, the only interesting game CCs are whitetail and turkey. It still sounds like a lot of fun though. Whitetail and turkey. Okay, this is weird. My red deer are not coming to their zones. I wonder if these guys showed up. 
How's everybody doing today, man? Happy Wednesday. Is anybody watching the hockey tonight? Anybody watching? Anybody watching hockey tonight? Anybody? Battle of Alberta, game one. Yeah. You're having lobster and salmon tacos for dinner. Ooh, 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 ooh. Big flex. That sounds good. You guys are watching. Nice. You hunt moose, caribou, and more. That sounds amazing. Uh, where do you where do you hunt, Nordic? Whereabouts? If you don't mind me asking. Go Oilers! Go Oilers! Would you like to go hunting in Yukon real life? Yukon territories or Alaska? Two different places. You're, I think you're talking about Alaskan moose. Yeah, man. It's one of the places I would like to go the most. In Norway. Very cool. Amazing. Got over 5,000 kills in Rancho. Still haven't gotten the great one to spawn. That's a lot. Hopefully it happens soon, man. So many people in my school are Oilers fans. They're all wearing their jerseys. But you're Flames fan, Rylan. We'll see what happens, man. The Flames are... The Flames are the favorites to win, just slightly. We'll see. We'll see if the Oilers can keep going with... Uh, McDavid and Smith. Smith has been hot. If he can keep that up and McDavid keeps ripping, I think the Oilers can definitely do it. Thank you, Sockham. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for the sub. It's hey a nine legendary. What? Hey, thank you, Emilio, for the sub. Thank you guys for subscribing. Everybody, everybody that's new and just subscribing. Thank you for doing that. We're on the road to 30,000. Oh, All right, we got a mail there. Let's see if I can get him to let's just move a little bit. And give us a shot. And I might have shot that a little high. What? Turn. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm zero for 300. Oh, I got him, though. Huh. Whoops. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a fun series. I'm hoping Edmonton will wear the retro jerseys. I really would love if they if they do that. The Flames are already wearing their retro jerseys. I hope Edmonton will do it, too. Might miss a couple games to rest his ankle, Jan. Dry sidle. I thought he was starting in game one, man. His ankle's still messed up. Dang. Yeah, that hurts. That's no good. Far Cry 4? John? What do you mean? Far Cry 4? Key deer, black, black deer, black, black deer, and white tail. Most of your things here to hunt KG. That's cool. Where's that? Sorry for the name of the name is wrong distance, but I did find the correct place to send it to. Okay, Rob, thanks for sharing it, man. All good, man. Yeah, I don't see anything at that zone. Nope, 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 nope. Females are still over there. Nope, 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 nope. Moving along. Yeah, they shouldn't rush him though. Maybe, maybe let him rest for the first game or two. I guess. Don't see how the hockey people don't crash into each other. Yeah, sometimes they do. Definitely a dangerous sport. Hey, Riley, back. <laughs> Your wife cut out. What do you mean? Your Wi-Fi cut out? Well, welcome back, man. Your wife cut you off from the internet? It happens, man. It happens. The sub alert happened as soon as I found a nine lunar. Hopefully a diamond for you, buddy. Here in Germany, we have red deer, some red deer, red deer, some red deer, fallow deer, foxes, raccoons, wild boar, mouflon, geese, ducks, pheasants. That's amazing. Sounds like paradise. Oh, look at this. That's not a nine. Stop. No. 
stop it. Stop this. That's an eight. Why? Just be an eight. <laughs> Why you gotta make it hurt? But dude, another nine legendary. The KC method, you guys. Five nine legendaries and 200 kills. KC method. Did you guys know that? You ever think about that? It's all because of the method, right? It's another troll, but it's another nine legendary. We're spawning so many nine legendaries with our method. It definitely has everything to do with our method. I have to take, I, you know what I mean? I take full credit for that. I take full credit. Friggin' nine, that's an eight, come on. <laughs> The map is heating up. The temperature is rising. Holy, get your swim gear. Make sure we're staying hydrated, everybody. We are heating up. Make sure you guys got your staying hydrated. Top up that H2O. And uh, make sure we are all staying hydrated because we're heating up. That temperature is rising. Summer's coming early, ladies and gentlemen. It's the KC method. You guys know it. You guys know that. You guys know it's the KC method that, that is making us spawn all these nines. Just nines like crazy. Hey, Macy, what's up? Welcome. The KC method is coming in hot. Uh, spawning so many nines. Crow's method, you like a lot? That's cool. But the KC method, guys, five nines, 200 kills. What's the method? Just shoot shoot all the males. Uh, don't wipe the zones, though. Keep your zones. Don't wipe them. And uh, if you got a whole bunch of hinds at a zone and not a lot of stags, start shooting the hinds. That's it. That's all I've ever done. <laughs> if you could even call it a method. That's all I've ever done. What is your luck with the nines? The great one has to respawn with these big deers dying all over the map. I know, right? It actually doesn't, though. It actually doesn't. It actually has nothing to do with the great one. That's the funny part. This is a 240. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Right in that lung. Just a little high there, even. Zeroed for... What was I zeroed for? 300, I guess. Another troll. Another troll rack. Third one. And just a couple hundred kills. Along with two diamonds. Just crazy. Isn't it crazy, Hollow? The craziest method. The respawn method. <laughs> We're going to call it the respawn method. Hey, William, what's up, man? You got nines of back to back lakes, Lunar. Nice, man. Nice. Heard to get a great one, Whitetail, you have to shoot Whitetail. Change my life. Yeah, hollow. It's insane. As soon as you as soon as you pop that 25th diamond whitetail, then you get it, then you get the great one. I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How rare is an albino pronghorn? They're pretty rare. It's a nice one. Think they should fix that rack? I don't mind the rack itself. I don't know if that rack should be able to be a nine though. That's all. We got four nines and three piebalds and 250 kills. 
Yeah, that's really good luck, Roland. Very good luck. I haven't seen a piebald in probably like 800 kills. It's been a really long time since I've seen a piebald. Two diamonds out of five nines. It's kind of fortunately. They don't troll too often. Yeah, well, all, th all three of the trolls have been that rack. They've all scored like 240. So. For what it's worth. At least, uh. At least all of the trolls we knew were going to be trolls, right? We didn't have any moment where we thought one might be a diamond and it wasn't. They've all been guaranteed trolls with those racks. Have you killed a diamond rodeo yet? I have. Just one. Just one. Got 16 nines. And around 500 kills. Oh, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. Hey, the gamer. Hey, Bob. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Didn't you get a dime piebald right here? I did. I did. The lunar method. Yep. Killed a piebald level 9 with the 240 rack. Was a little disappointed, but glad I knew it didn't have a chance to make it, Taylor. Yeah, man. Highballed level nine with a two forty rack. Jeez, that's wild. Best ever for Call of the Wild was when I was about one K kills into my go grind, got eleven diamond stags, one troll. Jeez, that's a lot. You just have to go into your codex and look at your total kills. You can't track certain species. You have to just keep track yourself. Unfortunately, uh, I've ever tried Assassin's Creed games. Not in a long time. Some of those newer ones look really good. That zone's a dud. I've never had, I haven't had red deer there in a long time. Let's go over here. Yeah, Nicole, definitely. A 63.6 stag thunder? Okay. That's cool. Constantine, play the six months, six, seven, seven, so many albino piebalds, a couple of mellas, then I lost my game with the last update, I had to start from the beginning again. Sorry to hear that, man. That's no fun. All right, Charles, sounds good, man. See you later. All right, what do I got right here? And across. Are these red deer not at their zones? What's going on here? Hello? Nothing is over here. I don't understand. Red Deer not cooperating. Hey Northern, what's up, man? Uh, you got a 270.5 diamond. That's huge, Roland. Massive, big rack. Speaking of food, what's for dinner? Uh, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. I might order something. I haven't decided yet.
The Discord command is for everyone, yep. But please don't spam it. French toast and eggs for dinner? That sounds good. Breakfast for dinner? I could do breakfast for dinner. That sounds really good. For dinner, steak. Just ate lunch a few, hour, a few hours ago. Nice. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got? Stag, stag. Another one. And another one. Two at each zone. Can you have a troll rack and small or big rack mixed? I believe so, Ruger, yeah. Okay, Dragon, see you later, man. 308, so satisfying using black and white tail. So. Try to watch the caps, Ryland, please. Please, thanks. Alright. Wham! Okay. Mm. Got them both. Slammed ya. See you later. I'm just gonna let those die and move on. Let's check this lake. Uh, Clarence, what's up, man? We've gotten two nines, two nines so far today. A troll and a diamond. We're heating up. It's getting hot. Definitely heating up out here. I don't remember that being a zone. It is, though. Cool. There's a mythical. Okay. So, let's get that guy down. No, at the moment, Andrew, you don't have to harvest to get respawns, but they are changing that. They're changing that back to the way it used to be. Which I am glad they are, because it's just too tempting sometimes to not pick them up, but... I would rather have to pick them up like you used to have to. I believe that's changing back with this update. Come on, stop. Stop moving. Hey, James. Uh, you missed a diamond and a troll so far today. Two nines. Uh, small rack, 254, Carter. Favorite great one is the red deer. Is that why you are doing the great one grind now as it is a bit quicker? I've always been doing the great one grind since since there's ever been a great one, Andrew. I, have, I always do great one grinds. Right now I'm doing this so much because I really want another red deer before they do the reset. And I just really want another great one, Red Deer. And I'm really excited that we're back on Quattro doing it. Because I love the ground of Quattro. Ok. 
Okay, I see you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Thought that might happen. Calm down, calm down. You're fine. Such an awkward zone to hunt. I might just stop hunting it. It's just two stags. Two uh, small stags. Might just let that zone be. Alright, we gotta check here. Should you claim your red deer? Um, it's up to you. I, I I like try I like picking them up as much as I can because that's how you make money. Otherwise, you're losing money from the ammo. So, it's up to you. If you kill a big rack and its brow tines are split, it will score mid 250. Right? Yeah. Apparently, it has a lot to do with the brow tines, whether they're split or not. And uh, those those smaller ones with the split brow tines, they can even troll. Hey, Cantor. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that, man. Same to you. Favorite map to hunt moose? I like Medved and Yukon pretty equally. Um, probably Medved slightly more. You have a million? It's completely up to you, Roland. The only difference is if you don't pick them up, you don't get the money for them. So, it's just totally up to you, man. Thought you th shot your third diamond fallow on Mela grind slays. Nice, man. Hope you get that Mela. I hope you do get it. And that's the only. Oh, never mind. Mythical. Another mythical. Spicy. So we've got two. Shoot that re that mythical. We're going to leave that other one so I don't delete that zone. Let's see what we get from that mythical. Got my third. Already read it. If you would have to live on one of the Caldwell maps, which one would it be? Probably Tia Aurora. AJ, what's up? Welcome. Glad to have you here, man. If you kill a max level but you don't get a vital organ, can you just leave the animal and let it respawn? No, 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 it's not how it works. Um, right now, as soon as you kill something, it responds to something different. Um, after they change it back, that might be a thing because they'll change it back and then it will be if you don't harvest an animal, it will respawn as the same animal. So technically, yeah, I guess you could do that. Yeah, but you know, that's kind of kind of cheating, right? But it's up to you, you, I guess. Yeah, you can do that if you want to. There's our mythical. 22. You close your app after every run. Uh, not always, but I like to. I usually, I usually, yeah, I like to. And, and... Part of the reason for that right now is that I'm not picking up every deer. And for those deer to respawn that you don't pick up, you do have to reset the game. Because they just stay laying on the on the map. Um, but I think we're going to switch it up to green hell. Are you guys up for some green hell? You want to see some survival? <sighs> Let's do it, man. Hey, Carson. What's up, man? We got a diamond and a troll. Today. Yeah, let's switch it up. Let's do it. I'm ready for green hell. I'm ready to get into it. Let's hope. <laughs> let's hope it goes a little bit better than last time, man. This game is not easy. This game is not easy. But I feel like we're gonna and we're gonna go into survival mode. We're not gonna do the story mode yet. We're gonna see if we can survive for a while in survival mode first. How many mythicals have I found today? Uh, it was two or three. And then the two nines. 
Hey, thanks, Kalen. Appreciate it. I'm the first to go Red Deer and Quattro yesterday. AJ, nice, man. Congrats. Okay, so. We're going to do survival. And we're going to do difficulty two. A four. And we'll just overwrite that. And let's see. Let's see if we can survive for a while. First thing we're going to do, I want to find... I want to be like near a river. I want to set up near a river because we want to be, be near water. And also if you're near a river, you can just follow the river when you go out and journey and the river will lead you back to your base. So I think that's a really good strat. Uh, it's not really extremely creepy. Like it's not really a horror game. I guess maybe later on in the game it might, it might be kind of more scary, but it's a survival game. It's just an, a really intense one. And... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot. You got to be you got to be on your toes. There's a lot of things that can hurt you and or kill you. I feel like every time I log out of this game, it turns off. Yeah, it turns off VSync every time. And I get screen tearing. Okay, fixed. All right, so with survival mode, I'm guessing we just start out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, first things first, we need ropes. We're going to need these to make a stone spear and a stone axe, among other things. And they are definitely the easiest thing to find in the game. What is a little harder to find are the stones, and we badly need stones. So hopefully we can find a couple big stones right off the bat. And some sticks. And start crafting. We need uh, the, st the axe. And a spear, and we can even make a bow and arrow too. Keep our eyes peeled for coconuts. Which are the wrong type of trees for coconuts. But yeah, there's, I mean, there's so many things out here that can hurt you, right? You gotta keep your eyes peeled for rattlesnakes, tarantulas. Types of leaves that can hurt you, and plants. There's a stick, nice. There's another one. I hear something. There's an animal scurrying out there. Okay, here's some sticks. We need a big stone, lots of sticks, nice. What is this guy doing? Yo, Andrew, coming in with the super chat. Thank you so much, Andrew. How's it going? Welcome. Thank you for that. Okay. Oh, they're capybara. Wait, are they capybara or pigs? They're pigs. They're pigs. We need a stone. Gotta be careful. Don't want to run into a snake. I don't know if these guys will charge me if I get too close. Assuming they will. What the heck? A rat? I see birds out there. See, we need feathers eventually to make arrows too, so that's gonna that's gonna be a thing. What? Am I getting too close? These pigs are freaking out. I need a stone so bad. I can craft my tools. Oh, there's a long stick. Oh no. Small stick. Never mind. But we're finding lots of them. Also, oh, a mystery snail. Mystery snail. I have never seen a mystery snail. I'm going to take it. We could probably cook that. Eventually. Is that a rock? No. Come on, we need a rock. Arachnophobia is kicking it. Totally. If I can find a rock, we can get our spear made, we can get our axe made, and we can start harvesting some, some stuff. We can get a fire built, and we can start looking for coconuts. 
We should try to get to an area where we've got palm trees. That was a rattlesnake, wasn't it? Need to find palm trees for coconuts. This is not the right area. These are not palms. I think I heard a rattlesnake there. Rattler, see? Something out there making hissing noises. See, I want to kill one of these birds eventually. If you guys see a rock, if I miss a big rock, let me know. Yeah, eventually we want to try to spear these birds if we can. Don't want to jump down there. What's this? Oh. Oh, a vine. Ah, that was might be handy for something. Huh. Okay, take a few. I see mushrooms. No, 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 no. What is that? Oh, a tarantula. Big one. Yeah, we don't want to mess with those. Oh, there's a stone. A couple of them. I hear something and I don't know what it is. I'm scared. Just get me up here. Drop that. There, now we got some stones. Beautiful. Okay, let's do this. Craft. Stone blade. Craft it. Then, if we take one of those, and one of those, or actually, I think it's two of those. Um, stone blade. Okay, maybe it was only one of those. There we go. Oh, that's a pickaxe. Did I want a pickaxe? I wanted... Hang on, did I make that wrong? Yeah, I didn't want the pickaxe. Let's put that back. Make another blade. You would think you could find stones near a creek or river. If you could find the creek. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Oh, these are going to be for tinder. For sure. Look at those. So those are handy. I think that's what that would be. Okay, so if I do a rope, a stick, that makes a torch. I don't want a torch. Then if I do the blade, that's a pickaxe. But I don't want the pickaxe. I want... Okay, that's nothing. Do you need two blades for it? Or two ropes? No, oh, I want the axe. Thought that was how you made it. Let's make another blade. Maybe it's two blades. You follow the creeks, have stone around, little waterfalls sometimes. The little waterfalls sometimes. One eventually leads to the abandoned village where you can continue the story and build a base. Okay, well I'm not doing the story right now. We're just doing survival, but that's good to know. I get ahead of myself. And then do I do two stone blades? No. How do I make the axe? Stone pickaxe. Doesn't tell me how to make it. Stick, stone blade. Oh, maybe it's just a stone, not a blade? For the axe? Is that what it is?
A stick and a stone. Right, okay, that's it's because I used the blade. Alright. That. That. I think it's two sticks. What the heck? There's an- I don't want the- I don't want the weak axe, I want the good one. The one with the rope. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. I'm just starting, Mr. Blank. We're just starting. Day one. I don't know how to make that good axe. Hey Cole, how's it going, man? I know it's a, I know there's a good axe and there's a weak axe. The good one includes a rope. I know that for sure. Another stone? Is it two stones? Ah, okay. Hang on. There it is. There it is. Okay, it's two stones. Thank you so much. Let's go. Okay, I want the axe. How do I switch that? There we go. Pick axe on two. This on one. Oh, it's not working. There we go. There we go. Cool. Alright, now we can get a spear made. I want to craft with it. <laughs> there we go. Blade, right? Yeah, let's go. Put that on three. Sweet. Okay. Now these, I think I can eat those ones. I oh wait. Let's take that. I think I can eat. Oh, I'm gonna harvest that for sure. Here we go. We're doing better than we were last time already. <laughs> Let's harvest that too. There's rocks. Anytime there's rocks, we're gonna take as many stones as we can. I think I can eat these. I think I get carbs from them. Yeah, five carbs. I think those ones are fine. That might be... My carbs are full. I'll just take one of those. Alright, alright, we're looking good. Now, we gotta find a spot. Oh, I can't just carry those around, hey? Let's drop it, it's fine. We're gonna wanna find a spot where we're gonna wanna build a hut. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Yeah, you just go that way. I'm going this way. So I think there's a little river down here. Sort of. Okay, let's be really careful here and see if we can get down. No falling. Don't fall. I see a bird's nest. That's going to help. That's going to be tinder for fire. And we might even get feathers from that. Nope, we didn't. Not that time. Another good thing to find in this game is bananas. Bananas are fantastic. If we can find a banana tree. So this isn't quite a river. I see palm trees though. Now how do I throw this? Oh, I see it. Hang on. G is throw a stone. How do you throw... Wait. 
Okay, I didn't want to throw that. How do you throw your spear? You guys remember? Anybody know? Why are you wearing an Oilers jersey? Hi, Xander. Because I'm an Oilers fan, man. And they're playing tonight. Can't I just wear my Oilers jersey in peace? Gosh. Gosh. Welcome to the stream, man. I don't know if I can eat that. That looks scary. What do you guys think? Can I eat that mushroom? Should I take it? I'll just take it. Scary looking mushroom. Okay, well I found a path. But I still don't really know where I'm going. But we do have palm trees around here. I could probably get a coconut. I need to know how to throw my spear though. Can't remember how to throw it. Ah, there it is. Okay, I didn't want to throw that, but that's fine. Okay, so, if I can find coconuts in one of these trees, we can get a coconut. We need one so we can make a water canister. I never see, I never see coconuts up in the trees though, man, for some reason. Never see them up there. Why is that? Did they take that out of the game? Are coconuts not in the trees anymore? Because the tutorial I watched showed coconuts in the trees. Now we could try to hit one of these little devils. Oh, you're a lucky pig. Uh oh. Oh, there's a rattlesnake right there. It's a coconut. I really want a coconut. Gravity don't work anymore, Oakley? What do you mean? I hope gravity works. We need gravity. Yeah, I don't see coconuts in these trees, man. I can kill a pig, that would be huge. That would be very good for us. Uh. Come back here with my spear. Oh. Took off with my spear. We got him. We got him. We got a peccary. Oh. I knew they were Havelinas. Yeah, let's go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we're eating good tonight. I need a coconut though, so we can get some clean water. Guys, I need a coconut. The sun's starting to go down. Guys, where am I gonna find a coconut? We're gonna need, we're gonna want water tonight. We also gotta find a spot to build a shelter, man. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. It's raining now. Got meat. We got meat. Because there's no coconut in the tree, right? Yeah, no coconuts in the trees. Oh, there it is. There's a coconut. Oh, oh rattlesnake got me. Are you serious? Of course. It was going so well. Everything was going so well. And now we got hit by a rattlesnake. There's a coconut down here anyway. Drink it. Take it. Drink it. Take it. Oh boy. We could probably sleep tonight without eating. But now I need to find uh, what do I need again for... I think I need a tobacco plant. I don't know where the heck to find them. Anti-venom. And we also need a bandage. 
Coconut Badon, that's what we're gonna make to collect water. Molinaria leaf. We need Molinaria leaf and tobacco leaf to cure the snake bite. Yikes. Yikes, dude. Yikes, dude. Where did it get me? Where did it get me? Right there. There's water. There's water right here. Okay. I might set up a hot shelter. I can find a good spot down here. Oh boy, there's more pigs. What are these? Oh gosh. This spot could work. It's getting dark and I don't have a hut set up. Uh oh. Okay, get out of here. Yellow, does that mean I can place it? Oh, I can't place one around here. Oh, I can place one right here. That'll work. More sticks. Oh, gosh. Hit it. Hit it. Why are you so tired? Dark. But what happened? I passed out. <laughs> no. Why is this game so hard? Why would I pass out? Long stick. I need to rest. I'm trying. I'm trying to get you a place to rest, my friend. You just need to hang in there. You just need to hang in there, though. That's all. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. There's a good one. Oh, I can't do that right now because I'm too tired. He gets too tired when I try to break down the tree. Oh, I see. My energy down there is really low. Okay, hang on. What can I do? Unknown mushroom. Let's just eat it. See what happens. Uh oh. 15 carbs. I got food poisoning. <laughs> and I'm vomiting. I didn't think that mushroom looked good. Unknown mushroom. Eat that one. Our energy is so low. It's because we need to drink. We need to drink. Oh <laughs> no. This game. Alright, we gotta start over. We gotta start over. We'll call that a warm up. Game's so hard. So I have to be quicker. We can't waste as much time. You have to like you have to get everything done quick. You gotta find rocks really fast. Alright. Let's give it another go here. We got this. Check the big trees. Sometimes they have blue shrooms. Okay. Okay. The blue mushrooms, huh? I'll keep my eyes out for the blue ones. Nice, hollow. Nice. That's amazing. I'm glad to hear that. Indian tobacco are usually found in open areas. Yeah, I still have never found tobacco leaves. I don't know where the heck they are, what they look like. It 
tell you right now, though. We need to find stones faster this time. <clears throat> Let's get the ropes. downhill. That's one of those bad mushrooms. I'm looking at one right now. We don't want those mushrooms. What am I hearing? Something. What's that? <gasps> Fruit. What am I hearing? Something's down there. Capybara, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna actually eat this. <clears throat> oh, it's good. Okay, take one other one. Oh, unknown fruits. So we want the little orange unknown fruits. Those are good. Those are good. see rocks right over there unknown mushrooms take those I want those rocks give me those rocks <laughs> what was that oh there's another snail mystery snail take it my mystery snail Yo, man. What's down there? Bird's nest. Can I go down there? <clears throat> You're fine. Take that. Take that. Okay, now we need sticks. We need sticks. Alright, let's craft. Couple blades. One more. Hey Joshua, what's up man? I'm pretty good. Trying to get a handle on this uh, Green Hell game. It is hard, dude. But I think we're getting there. I think we're gonna survive a night soon. Unknown mushroom. I think I can actually eat those. I think I can eat those ones. Oh, armadillo. Hi. I would like to kill you, but I don't have... I can't do that yet. I don't have any sticks. Sticks? Sticks? Sticks. We got sticks. We got some sticks. Oh, more sticks over here. Oh, lots of sticks. Let's go. Let's go. What? And actually, I can use that right now to make my spear. Throw that in there. We got a stone spear. Let's go. And then... Two stones. Uh, one of those. One of those. We got an axe. Let's go. All right. Good to go.
What's the pickaxe for, anyway? What's the pickaxe for? What would you need a pickaxe for? I'm curious about that. Okay, we need to get a hut built. We need to get a hut built. Where do we want to live? There's water down here. There's water down there. I mean, this could work right here, man. We're near water. Is it easy to get down to that water? Sort of. Let's go further down. Oh, what the heck? Bees? Hornets? Oh, gosh. Eat those. Nice. Now, if we can kill an animal, that would be... We'd be... We'd be... We'd be peachy keen if we do that. Oh, let's take that. <gasps> Where'd he go? He's still running. He's still running. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Let's see rattlesnake. Where'd he go with my spear? Oh no! Oh, he's right there. Let's go. Take the spear. Okay, we got some meat. We got the meat, and we're gonna set up right here. Get the fever right now, Oakley? I hope you feel better soon, man. Ah, uh, Rico. It's going pretty good. This is... I think we might survive the night here. We got meat. We got... Okay, we gotta get set up, though. I mean, I could set up right in here. Probably. Let's see. Hot shelter. Yeah, I can set up right there. Okay, let's go. Mm, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're gonna have a home for the first time in Green Hell. Not a lot of sticks around here, though. Not a lot of things to chop around here, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't chop those down, can I? For sticks? I don't think so. Birds everywhere. Okay, here we go. You got it, you got it, you got it. No, 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 no. Harvest that. What did I get there? Did it give me all the stuff? All right. Okay. Hey, Gran, what's up, dude? Remi it reminds you of Stranded? I get a little bit of a Stranded vibe. I get a little bit of a Forest vibe. We're getting wet. Let's take this back. Not too long sticks. Oh, hey, what is this? This is like a... Oh, there's like a camp here, dude. Hang on, hang on. Wait a second. Hey, hang on, hang on. Drop those there. We could set up in here. <gasps> a can of food? Oh, nice. A bag of nuts. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Car back seat. I can sleep in that. Are you kidding me? Mattress. Hold to sleep. Chips. Oh. 
take the empty can. We might need that. There's a hammock. Okay. I'm gonna set up a hut down here, but we can sleep right here. This is amazing. This is amazing. Is that a fire pit right there? Oh, cool. Alright, well, I'm just gonna put this right here, then. Sticks. Got you. I got you. Get another long stick. Charcoal. Look at this. Charcoal. Hey. We got charcoal out of the fire. A rusty machete? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, what do I need? I need another long stick, and then I need, what is it, palm leaves or banana leaves? Armadillo. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> thought I'd go for it. The long stick, huh? Get this one. Okay. And then we need some leaves. I, I don't know if it's the palm leaves or the banana leaves. We'll find out. Okay, I think that's these right here. Right? Yes, it is. Okay. I think I have to carry them one at a time. One of 13? Can I carry more than one of those at a time? Hopefully. Take more than one? Oh, yeah, I got a bunch now. Yeah. Okay. Old research camp. You can fish? Yeah, you can fish. You can spear, you can spear fish, too. This game is a, this, there's a lot. There's a lot we can do in this game. Okay, a few more. Um, no spoilers, though, of course. No spoilers for this game. As usual. Please and thanks. Okay, that might be enough right there. Nice. We got a shelter and we got food. I am going to place a fire. In there. Good place. Stone ring. We'll just do a small fire for now. Um, where should we do it? Let's just do it in here to be safe. Or we can put it right inside, I guess. Now nah, I'll put it on this side. Okay. Small sticks. Small sticks. How are we doing for food? Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, we need a coconut, though. Still need the coconuts. Yes, we do. Armadillo sounded like a gonk droid in the Lego Star Wars games. <laughs> they do sound kind of funny, don't they? Let's take some more rope. That armadillo is still up there. 
I could totally go kill it. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's something else. Yeah, it's a capybara. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Question is... Where did it go? Oh my gosh, that's so lucky. So lucky that I actually saw it go over there. All right, we got more meat. Let's go. Yes. We got bones, all kinds of stuff. Hey, a toucan body. Okay. Dead bird? Oh, I'm all dirty. Why am I walking so slowly? Why am I walking slowly? Anybody know? I can't sprint. Is it because I'm dirty? What happened? What's this? Oh, I'm too heavy. Okay. I'm too heavy. Uh... Can I just drop stuff? Yeah. Drop all of those. Oh, I'm very heavy. Oh, it's all the bones. Okay, we gotta get back down there and drop the bones at camp. Holy. Where was camp? Down here, right? Right down here, I believe. Bananas. Take the bananas. Yes. Where the heck was camp? Which way did I chase that capybara? Uh-oh. Am I... <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to leave any of the bones behind, because I don't know how important they are. Where was the camp? Did I go the wrong way? I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. It's getting dark. Where was it? I might have to drop these, some of these bones. I mean, that's fine. We can kill more animals. They're all over the place. Oh my gosh, they're not even very heavy. What is it that I'm carrying that's so heavy? Oh, I've got planks on me. Where did those come from? <laughs> did I pick those up at the camp? That's what's so heavy. Dude, like, I really need to know where this camp is. I gotta drop a plank. Hopefully those aren't important. I gotta drop them both. Crap. Crap, not good, not good. Where was the camp? Wow. A Jaguar. That's great. That's wonderful. That's a Jaguar. That's a Jaguar. Uh, cool. It was going so well, and then we got lost. Fuck! We're screwed. I have no idea where I am. 
<sighs> bleeding out. We're bleeding out. One day we're going to survive a night in this game. It's going to happen, I promise. Um, but I think that's a good time to end the stream. We tried. We tried. We gave it a good go. <laughs> this game is hard, man. This game is no joke. This game is no joke at all. Thank you guys so much for being here, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Be safe. Take care. Enjoy the game if you're watching it. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.